Okay, Sean Webb here again today with another Gears 3D motion analysis of a um, high-end player, PGA Tour player here with an iron and getting a little bit of a close-up look from a little different view today. Straight underneath the golfer is, is if the floor was made of uh, glass and we could look up through. Fairly unique view, but I really like it for looking at a couple aspects of the swing. We're going to see here in just a minute. Today we're going to talk about the action of this lead leg and how it works on the downswing for a lot of these really good players. So this would be his left leg and his right leg. Now let's go ahead and take him up to the top. It's going to turn his pelvis, uh, turn his pelvis and rib cage up to the top of the swing. Let's go ahead and get that number here prominent so we can see it. His turn numbers. So he rotates to the top of the swing. As he does that, it's going to pull this leg in slightly. The pelvis is pulling against the femur and it pulls the leg in just slightly inside of the uh, the foot here, just a common looking position. His hips, his pelvis turned 45, his rib cage about 80. Pretty normal looking position there um, for a good player. And then the first move I want you to see here is this left thigh and left leg going into external rotation, putting the knee back over the left foot by the time this club gets about waist high. So that's a good checkpoint. As you're doing this, let me get below him again, if I can find the golfer, there he is. Let's pull him up here so we can get a better look at him. So as you're doing this and practicing your swing, as you make the transition from backswing to downswing, that feeling should be that you're rotating that thigh and left side back over the left foot. And you can see the hip doesn't, or the hip doesn't really outraise the shoulder a whole lot. Um, he's actually closing the gap. And what I mean by that is at the top of the swing, basically the difference between the pelvis and the rib cage, ro ro rib cage rotation is about 33 degrees. As he starts down, you're gonna see that gap close. So he's actually rotating his rib cage at a faster rate than his pelvis so that he can close the gap and get his body orientation at impact slightly open with both the pelvis and the rib cage um, so he can rotate through the shot without having to overuse his hand rotation or kind of roll the grip as much. So a lot of these elite players will get their body position open so it gives them a better chance of controlling the club face. So. I think a better thought for players, instead of feeling like they keep their back to the target or back in their rear end in the target, go ahead and shift the pressure to the left foot. But as you're doing that, let the body, it's rotating immediately in transition. Bam, immediately it starts rotating and, and back to the target. You can see those numbers jump as I make transition. So there's no waiting really. You wanna be rotating as you're shifting the weight to the left. Once that knee gets over the left foot, you start pushing up with the left leg and you start seeing this left leg go straighter so he's using the ground and then into the finish so I thought that would help just to kind of a different look to things um, but to me that helped me see immediately the rotation getting the left knee back over the left foot pushing up from the ground there more vertical force at that point and then into the finish you see that club go flashing by so hope that helps hope that helps you in your transition and understanding how the body moves as you um, come from the backswing into the downswing. See you in the next video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or I can do another video for you. Anything you want me to shoot, I'd be glad to do it. Thanks a lot.